Campaign Creation, Part 1 To create a campaign, navigate to the Campaigns tab. Click the New button. The new campaign form will open. Select the workspace you want to assign your campaign to or leave Master as default. Set a unique name for a campaign. Select the traffic source that will be used in your campaign. Making changes to the traffic source or country will be reflected in the appropriate prefix in the campaign name and will help you to quickly identify different targets within all your campaigns. Select the country tag that will determine what offers and landing pages will be displayed in destination settings. If you are running a global or multi-geo campaign, we recommend leaving the country selection field as default, global. Add or select tags from the list to better organize your campaigns and easily search for them afterwards. Select the tracking domain that will be used for this campaign. Tracking domain should be set up beforehand in domain settings. Uniqueness period refers to the period during which a visitor of your campaign should be considered unique. By default, the value equals 24 hours. Send Postbacks option is used to pass a certain percentage of conversions registered in this campaign to the source. Set the required percentage if needed. The next option is Traffic Loss, which can be set for this specific campaign or under Traffic Source settings. By default, the value is 100%. In the Campaign Currency section, it is required to select the currency in which you're buying the traffic from your traffic source. Select the cost model based on the traffic you plan to purchase. CPV, cost per visit or click on your ad campaign. CPM, cost per 1,000 impressions of your ad. CPA, cost per install, download, item sold, etc. RevShare, the cost value will be calculated as the percentage of the payout received for a conversion. Do not track. Cost data will not be recorded and you will need to update it later manually. Finally, you can use the auto cost model. This is only available if the associated traffic source has a macro defined within the cost field. Now we can proceed with the destination part.